Hello, I am Chris Pickard, Director of Body Imbalanced, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some funky breathing tips to help you boost nitric oxide. I'm also going to show you how this string is going to be very, very important. Before we do that though, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you actually get notified when the latest video comes out. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to tell you something that's more important than breathing when it comes to nitric oxide. Let's take a little step back though and just recap what I've covered so far in some other videos. I went through some nitric oxide releasing exercises. I covered nitric oxide boosting supplements and nitric oxide boosting food as well. Today though, some breathing. Now on some of the videos, it was noted, uh, I had some comments saying, you know, nitric oxide is made in the sinuses and you've got to talk about breathing. Well, it's true, nitric oxide is made in the sinuses, but it's made in every single cell in your body. It's just that, yes, it is made in the sinuses. So how do we actually make this into something that's going to make, uh, improve your health? Well. First of all, humming. Yes, humming. When you hum, your sinuses actually make a lot more nitric oxide, 15 times more nitric oxide than when you're just breathing normally. And so when you breathe in, when you breathe out, mm, that's just in case you didn't know what a hum was, but you wouldn't hum loud enough and with enough resonance and find the right pitch and tone to actually get your skull actually resonating, but not so much that you might feel a bit dizzy or giddy because you've got to do this repeatedly. Okay, and then when you breathe back in through your nose, so you, instead of breathing out, you hum, and then you breathe in and you're gonna breathe the nitric oxide back into your lungs, into your body. And it's been found that if you do this for an hour a day for just four days, you could actually get rid of chronic sinusitis um, because nitric oxide is antibacterial, antifungal. But also if, if it can actually get rid of chronic sinusitis, think what it might be doing when you're actually breathing it into your lungs and getting it into your body. So you've got to do it loud enough that you can actually get a, a resonation. I actually tend to do this when I'm driving in the car. So when I'm driving into work, when I'm going home from work. So I get about 20 minutes a day. Um, so yeah, okay, it's not an hour, but it was an hour a day for four days that got rid of chronic sinusitis in four days. So that's my first prescription is hum. The second thing is make sure you breathe through your nose generally as much as possible. And so you can, a good, a good fun thing to do is to go out for a walk or a run and put some water in your mouth and don't swallow the water just go out and breathe through your nose. Certainly try it with running and just see how slowly you have to run to stay breathing through your nose. Very powerful exercise for many reasons. But nighttime is a time when people often can't stop themselves breathing through your nose. Well, actually you can. You tape your mouth shut with some micro pore tape, some white micro pore tape. And you'll find that the next morning it can be quite hard to pull off but it's still reusable for a few nights and then it gets more comfortable to pull off or you can put a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil and an edible oil basically on your lips and it's a bit easier to pull off the next morning but you want to put the micro pore tape across your mouth don't freak out um, you'll, you'll be able to take it off if you need to be um, you'll find this can help snoring and a lot of people find that they suddenly start sleeping better, they start waking up more refreshed, they get many other health benefits just by taping their mouth shut at night. Incredible, eh? So, what's the string? Well, one of the things that can actually really put your nitric oxide into, well, use up your nitric oxide, but actually make it into an inflammatory chemical is stress. And one of the ways that people are constantly stressing themselves out is by actually breathing in their chest and not their abdomen. And when you actually stretch your chest receptors, it actually releases stress hormones, cortisol. 
So a simple trick is to get a string that is big enough to actually tie around your belly button. I know you can't see my belly button, but tie it around at belly button level, just tight enough that it's gonna stay there. And if you are maybe very curvy, you may want to use some, uh, some tape to actually make sure that as you breathe out, um, the string doesn't fall down too far. Because you want this basically around your belly button tight enough so that when you breathe in deeply and your belly expands, you're gonna feel it. And the idea is you leave it on for a day. And every hour, you take 10 deep belly breaths. And as you breathe in, you want to really feel it expanding. And when you start to feel, feel the, the string cutting into your belly, that's when you allow your chest to start moving. You don't allow your chest to move until you actually feel tension in the string. And do 10 breaths and do this every hour. And over time, you're gonna retrain your breathing mechanisms. I learned this from Paul Check, and um, he's got a video on it himself, so you can go and watch that, look up Paul Check, um, and the string of life, or, or string of breathing, or something he calls the video. So try that out. So, before you go, um, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, and make any comments below. What did you actually really like about what you learned? What more would you like to learn? And now, make sure that yeah okay breathing is great but make sure you've got the right foods going into your body that will actually improve your nitric oxide levels in so many ways so click the link that will be around here and i'll put it either side and it will be at the end click the link to go and pick up your free nitric oxide boosting foods pdf with some smoothies some other great recipe ideas including a dessert yes a dessert a chocolate dessert that will actually boost your nitric oxide. Be well, be fabulous, be magnificently healthy.